Hi, and welcome to the Online Kids Space Planetarium. My name is Kate, and I'm your guide for our edition of Night Skies this week. We're so glad that you decided to stop by and view our online star tour program. These quick five minute star tours are designed to show you some easy to spot, as well as some exciting objects that will be out in our skies sometime this week. Let's go ahead and start. Down along the bottom of your screen, you can see that we are located on Earth in Westminster, Colorado. Then we have our altitude, our field of view, and our frames per second, which do not matter whatsoever with our star tour, so let's ignore those. What does matter is our day stamp. And you can see that our date is currently set to Sunday, September 20th at 1800 hours or 6 p.m. We know the sun, the moon, the planets, and the stars will all rise out of the east and go set in the west. And since our sun is setting on our right side, that makes that our western horizon. Therefore, east is off to our left. And then to make it nice and easy for us here, north is up top and south is down below. You can see there's already one object out in our night sky. It looks very bright. I have enhanced it a little bit, so it's not going to look quite like that out in the real night sky. But that object you see is our moon. And as the week goes on, our moon is going to get brighter and brighter, which means that it's going to be harder to see some of the more fainter objects in our skies. By Thursday, we should be at our first quarter, which means half of our moon is illuminated. And then we'll have a full moon next week. So for this talk, we're going to look more at the two exciting objects that are out, as well as those more brighter objects that we will see as soon as our sun goes below the horizon. One of the first objects that we are going to see will be down in the southern skies, and that will be our largest planet, affectionately known as the solar system's vacuum cleaner, Jupiter. Trailing right behind Jupiter, is our second largest planet, Saturn, most noted for the rings. And so I'm going to go ahead and bring up the labels. You should see Jupiter appear here any second now. There's the dot. So he's going to get nice and bright. And then Saturn is going to follow right behind. Closer to nine, we'll have two more planets rise out of the east. But before we get there, we have two exciting objects that we'll be able to spot over in the western skies. Around 8.10 p.m., we're going to see a very bright object rise out of the west, go across the northern skies to go set in the northeast area, and that object is the International Space Station. You should see it here any second now. It's going to cross the night sky in about five minutes. There it goes. Travels very quickly. Always exciting to see in the sky. And now you can see Mars rise and right behind it, our planet Uranus. I'm going to stop our time right about now, which is about 8.45 p.m. And unlike our planets Mars, Saturn, and Jupiter, in order to view Uranus, you will need some type of help from either a pair of binoculars or a telescope because it's much too dim for our eyes to actually see it without help. And while we have those binoculars or that telescope out, we can go comet hunting. This comet is in our southern skies. It's known as Comet 88P. Astronomers are very creative in our naming structure. Or Comet Howl. To find it, we're going to take a line from Saturn through Jupiter and shoot over to this nice red dot there in the southern skies that sure looks like the planet Mars. This is the star Antares, which literally means not Mars. And just a little bit above it to the right is the area you're going to want to look to try and find that comet. This comet takes about five and a half years to go around our sun. And it is at the distance just a little bit beyond our planet Mars. So if you miss it this round, don't worry, it'll be back in another five and a half years. 
I'm going to go ahead and speed up our time to show you one more object that's going to rise closer to sunrise. This object is our second planet from the sun, also the hottest planet, which is affectionately known as our morning star or evening star, depending when we see it in the night skies. Since it's rising right before our sun, it's our morning star, and that is our planet Venus. You can see it there. Well, that will conclude our star tour. Of course, if you like our star tour program, please help us stay open by donating online to Kids Space Launch. And remember to tune in next week for another quick star tour of our upcoming night skies. From all of us here at Kids Space, thank you for watching and happy stargazing.